And we are back live for the conclusion of the 2010 Tournament of Champions. Packed house here at Red Rock Lanes in Las Vegas, Nevada. And a lot of girl power in the crowd. Kelly Kulik will begin the title match versus Chris Barnes. And there is Kulik. Courtesy of the victory, 227-223 over Mika Koivu Miemi. She has moved on to the title match. And this begins her effort to become the first woman to ever win on the PBA Tour. An interesting strategy by Chris Barnes. He's your number one seed. He gets choice of starting lane and position. He chooses to have Kelly Kulik start the match, which means Kelly will finish the match oh, well. on the right lane. Some serious girl power there. A 12-time winner on tour with two majors, the 2005 U.S. Open and the 2006 Tournament of Champions, the 7-8 PBA Player of the Year from Double Oak, Texas. Please welcome Chris Barnes. So much of this broadcast has been spent talking about Kelly Kulik. Let's not forget about Chris Barnes. This is a Hall of Fame bowler, folks. And the guy is well in the hunt for Player of the Year. Wow. Boy, this is not what you want to see or hear out of Chris Barnes if you're pulling for his camp. All the practice that he got prior to the start of this match, and then he throws that shot and comes back and goes, wow. I mean, there's a lot of indecision going on in the head of Chris Barnes right at this moment. Cleans that one up and walks away from it. Time now for our bear breakdown. Number one seed, Chris Barnes, taking on number two seed, Kelly Kulik. And there's been so many times when Chris has struggled on television, he's struggled in title matches. Who can forget the 2008 Tournament of Champions where he had a 50-plus pin lead against Michael Halgan Jr. only to miss a 10-pin late and lose by a pin. Ball change for Barnes, and it works on the left lane. But there's also been times when he's been very, very good. Kelly Kulik has been in pressure situations before. She's won three majors, the 03 Women's U.S. Open, the 07 Queens, and the 09 PBA Women's World Championship, which earned her berth here into the TOC. Even through one and a half. <laughs> just incredible. First woman to ever compete here in the Tournament of Champions, the native of Union, New Jersey, with three major titles, four-time member of Team USA, and what's on the line today? How about a two-year exemption on the tour and a $40,000 check? I ask you not to get ahead of ourselves, Kelly, but should you win it, what are we going to do with that money? Just going to put down down payment on a house as her mom is in the crowd. Watching this one. Three in a row. Come on. Boy, the temperature in the building just went up about 15 degrees if you're Chris Barnes. His opponent off to a red hot start with a three bagger. And his opponent just happens to be a woman. Kulik has started both of her matches with strikes. She finds herself getting in a comfort zone immediately. Barnes, bottom of the third, down 20. Mm, leaned, but it wouldn't drop.
Barnes well plays that one up. Chris Barnes at the 2008 Tournament of Champions blew a 52-pin lead and lost to Michael Haugen Jr. 215 to 214 in the same building. Talked at the outset, a lot of people trying to exercise some demons today. Rhino Page couldn't. Barnes trying. Oh, boy. Four, six, ten. We've seen this before from Chris, unfortunately. An open frame for Chris Barnes. I know we're only in the third frame for Kelly Kulik, but right now, She's got her eyes on $40,000 and a two-year exemption and history. An opening hand bone. And what a late kick. We talk every week, Randy, about the breaks going your way if you're going to win. That was an epic break for Hewlett. When it's your day, it's your day. It's been her week. She's been solid as a rock the entire event. And when you're throwing it good and you're making good shots, the pins know it, and they cooperate just like that trip mm. four on a three-bagger. So Kulik steps up to open up the fifth, looking for five in a row to start her title match with Barnes. Even possible. All the great breaks, all the great shots she's thrown, and this happens. Boy, you want to talk about somebody getting the defibrillator out on Chris Barnes? That's what'll do it for you. Takes care of the seven. First open frame of the day for Kelly Hewitt and new life for Chris Barnes. Last two shots on right lane, both light. Barnes looking to make an adjustment and looking to get back in this match with a strike here in the fifth and another one in the sixth. He has just one strike this title match. Came in the second on the left lane. There's strike number two and oh, momentum is a fickle mistress. Nice. Time now to fire up the RV. Go RV and on the road next week, just south of Los Angeles in the Orange County area, Fountain Valley, California, for the one a day Dick Weber Open. Live coverage, one Eastern on ESPN2. I can't stress that enough. Next week, we're live on ESPN2. And then the following week, the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. You can see that one Sunday, February 7th, 2 Eastern, ludicrous in the house for that shot. Barnes in the sixth, leaves the 10. That hurt. Yeah, that was brutal, trying to get back into this match. Makes the adjustment on the right lane, catches a strike, looking to double up, only to leave a nasty ringing 10. Watch how fast the six pin goes around it. Still time though, cover the spare. Still has room to get to the 220s. Well, Chris, what adjustments have you made since that kind of rough start for you? Well, I had to move one right on the right lane. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit wet dry, and uh, so was the left lane. So I'm, I'm rolling it more up the back of it. I move closer to the friction on both lanes, and uh, we've got to figure out which strike. Are you still in this one? Absolutely. 